Hi, it's Captain Sandy Melvin, Gasparilla Outfitters, and this is Boca Grande Weekly Fishing Report. Today, got Captain Doug Stewart with me, and uh, say hey, Doug, to everybody that's watching our everybody fishing Everybody out there. <laughs> hey, a great uh, couple weeks coming up. Yeah, sure it is. Well, big news, I guess, is it's almost tarpon season. It's the last of uh, April here. We're in the last week of April, and we're going to wake up, and it's going to be May, and tarpon are going to be here. So we've kind of run a little bit behind schedule here from what years past have usually shown, but... Uh, there's been a few scattered of tarpon around. I actually had an opportunity to fly this week with a client of mine, and we saw some tarpon along the beaches. They're working their way this way, so I uh, wouldn't be a bit surprised to see some tarpon reports really start picking up here within the next couple of weeks. Uh, you've done a little backcountry fishing. You get into the mackerel or anything? Yeah, I was catching, catching some nice mackerel, mostly throwing jigs, not too much with bait. But I know the guys that have uh, been catching bait and, and targeting mackerel have been doing really well. Yeah. I know the snook fishing's a little, little tough. Um, and then you've been catching a few redfish. Yeah, well, actually, I've been catching some pretty nice snook. We've caught some big snook here in this last week. Not a catching a lot of snook, though. You know, the, 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 the small snook that we normally see in days when we could go out and catch 15 or 20, you know, three-pound snook or so, those days are kind of tough right now. I think that, that, that fishery is going to have to recover a little bit before we see a lot of numbers for snook. But there's a lot of big snook out there. I know Captain Jack Velasquez has been catching some big snook. Uh, Captain Charlie Coleman told me he's caught some big snook. Captain Robbie Hayes caught some big snook this week. So snook fishing is really going on real well right now. But but, uh, you know, just not the numbers that we expected to see for the spring. For but spring. Yeah, but, you know, that's that's typical after you had a big freeze like we had over the winter. So. Absolutely. Snook fishing will be back, though, guys. Don't worry about the snook fishing. We're, we're still catching them. Uh, like you said, you mentioned the redfish. Redfish are real scattered. I mean, we're catching a few, but redfish have gotten kind of scattered out with this warmer weather. We had a big rain last night here on Boca Grande. Another big cold front came through. So, uh, you know, we're still dealing with cold fronts. At least they're not cold after them there. That's just a change no. in wind direction and all. Real quick, we've got the um, the uh, Redbone tournament coming up here in about two weeks. Yep. And now you're chairman of the guides and helping work uh, with the yeah, guides, whatever. Exactly. So uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with Redfish tournament, the okay. Redbone tournament. The Redbone tournament is a, is a tournament format designed to catch um, a tarpon, a snook, and a redfish. And the team that does that first and most often is going to be the team that wins it. It's a fundraiser for cystic fibrosis. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but you should look it up. It affects young kids and affects their lifespan seriously. And we've been able, through funding of research, expand kids' lifespans by a decade in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, the event's going to be held at the Gasparilla Inn. Um, we're going to have tickets uh, for sale for people that, that don't want to fish and or you can't fish at this point because we've got a full field of 30-plus teams. But you can buy tickets for the event. Just call the Gasparilla Inn. And you can be part of the silent auction. There's going to be great prizes, great gifts being auctioned off. It's just going to be a terrific, terrific event. So great. call the gas really in. And, uh, and of course, Andy's going to be fishing it. Yeah, looking forward to it. This will be my first year of being able to fish it. I've always been out of town the last few you years have. it's been going on. But looking really forward to fishing. It's a great cause. We hope to really do some good. We've got a lot of good community support, like Doug Absolutely. mentioned. Absolutely. And uh, really looking forward to this event here coming up here in the first, first week or so of May. Yeah, it's going to be the evening of the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th is the award ceremony. Right. Great. Well, there you go. That's Boca Grande's weekly fishing report. Come on down and enjoy our great fishing.